Okay, the second item um, is consider approving an agreement between Mesa County and JUB Engineer Inc. for the design of the 38 road uh, road bike and pedestrian project in the amount not to exceed $559,055. We have Laura Page here to present. Thank you. Uh, Laura Page, Engineering Director again. Uh, last year, uh, the county applied for a transportation alternative grant uh, for this project, which we received uh, for the construction. So this contract is for the design. Um, 38 Road is a very narrow road that uh, does have um, uh, some uh, pedestrian traffic and then quite a bit of uh, bicyclist traffic on the Fruit and Wine Byway. So this project would uh, build a separate, great separated uh, bike path from Highway 6 to the um, existing improvements that we built quite a few years ago going up the hill. Um, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Thanks, Laura. Do any of you have comments? I just have one um, question, comment, I guess. Um, it's a pretty short section of road. It just kind of struck me how expensive it is just for the engineering for just this short section of road. Yes, um, because of the existing canal, um, Omid Canal along uh, the, was it the west side of the road where the improvements would go, this was going to require some structural engineering. Um, also, because of the grant, it is federal money, so we have to follow all of the uh, federal requirements as far as, and state requirements as far, far as following all their NEPA requirements, all their right-of-way acquisition requirements, and all the reviews, and that does add to the uh, cost considerably over a just a regular funded project. And then once again, our engineering uh, costs have really skyrocketed um, in the past since about uh, 2020. So this contractor was chosen based on qualifications, not on Correct. low bid. Were there other qualified contractors or engineers? Um, yes, uh, there was um, three others that submitted, um, but uh, JUB was selected as uh, the most qualified because they are um, currently working with OMID on some of the improvements in that area. Uh, so we felt that um, utilizing them, because we're dealing with OMID on the canal, um, uh, improve, you know, the wall that would be going in the canal, the crossings over the bridge and stuff, that would just um, uh, make it that much easier to um, uh, coordinate work with them. But what if we had another qualified contract that was two hundred thousand dollars less? Oh, um, well, we uh, since we go by qualifications, we do not um, uh, take bids from them. Uh, if uh, we had selected another, basically, I think the the firm that was uh, second in the selection process, their rates are very similar to Job. Um, so. Uh, the we suspect that the cost would have been about the same. I guess I'm just struggling with not having an actual RFP, um, especially with such a high dollar amount. Um, I understand the, the, the need for an RFQ, um, especially for a highly specialized project like this, but we've, we've got more than one. Why couldn't we do an RFP with the qualified contractors? Okay, you're saying go through an RFQ and then an RFP I, afterwards? I don't know. I just, yeah, I mean, it just seems so high for the engineering. I mean, I've done a lot of engineering in my days and just mm -hmm. for the short section of road, it just seems so high. And um, that's what I'm struggling with. Yeah, uh, well, we did go, go through their proposals um, and the scope of work and trimmed it down, you know, um, as much as we could. But um, like I said, without actually then turning around and going for a bid process, which I'm not quite sure um, the legalities of that for professional services. Um, if we have um, uh, selected them based upon qualifications, yeah. uh, it would only be if, from my understanding is, is if we couldn't come to an agreement as to the scope of work and their fees, then we could go to the second um, uh, qualified firm. Okay, am I out left field, Pete? Yeah, Commissioner Davis, if I could add a little bit of a 
clarification or actually ask a question, Laura. Laura, what's the estimated cost of the project overall and what percent of the engineering fees? Because that's a gauge that can be used. Uh, the estimated cost, I believe, is about three and a half million. Um, I think uh, three and a half to four, um, almost four million. So it is quite um, a high cost. We do have two pedestrian bridges we'd be putting in, plus um, the wall all along that edge. So. so, so the amount appears to be slightly higher than normal, which would be in that ten percent range. Uh, but based on perhaps, uh, as you're saying, canal work and others, I, I think. All, everyone's just looking to say, is this a good value on the price, not the, just the qualifications? And, right. And, and, almost, and um, the, the old 10% that we used to go by um, has gone out the window. We're um, pretty much seeing 25 to 30% construction costs now on uh, design fees. Uh, like I say, some of these um, uh, engineering firms, the costs, um, their hourly rates have gone up between 20 to 50% from what they used to be back in 2018, 2019, even 2020. For moving forward, it almost seems like we should maybe hire a few engineers in-house and do it. It's crazy that I agree, it's astronomical. Yeah. Well, for these um, complex uh, designs that, especially having to deal with uh, the state and all the regulations, we still would have to go out and hire consultants to do the NEPA work, to do the structural analysis. Um, and as it is, our uh, design engineers are handling you know, five to six projects, um, design projects, managing those as it is. Um, this type of project would take five or six engineers to, you know, engineers or, um, and or CAD technicians to manage. Sure, I'm just thinking that five engineers might be less than $600,000, I don't know, maybe not. <clears throat> well, if, if we had these projects um, all the time, then yes, I would, but since we only get these grants, you know, maybe one a year if, um, if we're lucky. Um, this past year or so, we were able to get more because of um, some of that federal money that was out there. So is that because we built that, we're building that wall right next to the canal that's right next to the road yes um uh and the reason we're putting it on that side is the uh, more eastern side we there's a uh a house that that is along there right. that more than likely we would have to take some of its structures and then we would be getting into an orchard also to, in order to be able to try and put it on that side and then you you would have the bike and pedestrian traffic crossing 38 road, going along that side and then having to cross again in order to tie to, into the improvements on the west side. So there's a lot of moving parts. Yeah. You've got a bridge, a canal mm -hmm. in a short span yeah. of- Yes. Okay. Is this, uh, do we need this done this week? Can we do it next week? Uh, we could do this next week. I'd I like think. to postpone it, that's all right. Sure. Yep. Okay. 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 A motion to postpone this until next Tuesday. Okay. We have a second. We'll oh, second. I'm sorry. For the board to make sure I'll that second the motion. Or question to be asked first. Uh, yes, Todd. We still need to vote. Okay. I motion to continue this uh, item until next Tuesday. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to continue carries.